check this out. With an app called Nacha, I can tap on my front camera hole punch and quickly access any of my favorite apps to open any time. It doesn't matter what app I'm using too, it always works. Plus, I can add as many apps as I like since the bar is scrollable. The only string attached is that it does cost a dollar to unlock, but it is very convenient and something that I've never seen before. I also just dropped 470 promo codes for it on my Patreon if you'd like to get it for free there. If you're an OG smartphone user, you probably remember the old days when Windows phones existed and they had their famous tile launcher. Well, you can get something very similar by downloading Grid Launcher. On the homepage, you can see all of your favorite apps as grids and occasionally some of them will flip just like on the Windows phone. You can also customize their sizes by making them larger or smaller, move them around, and add as many as you'd like since the page is scrollable. Plus, if you swipe right, you can access all your apps in a list format and the search bar at the top. It's pretty bare bones since it just got released a few days ago, but it's honestly not a bad start. I could definitely see the developer adding in support for widgets, making everything a lot more customizable, and throwing in a few more features. Definitely keep an eye on this launcher. By the way, my team and I just released a massive new update to our How To Personalize app. It's got some fantastic tips on improving the performance of KWGT widgets, downloading and applying all of our wallpapers and widgets released every month, brand new widgets and wallpapers as well, and a lot more. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. I'm sure most of us have friends who live very far away, and to hang out, you need to find a middle point to make the drive a lot less stressful. The problem is figuring out the middle point and what to do in that random city. Well, Meet Halfway makes the process a lot easier. You just hit the search button and type in their address to pin them down. You can even put in their name for future meetups. Then you tap Find Places, select all the pins or friends you plan to hang out with, and then choose a place of interest including a restaurant, bar, park, etc. From there you can have it suggest a single place or show you everything in that area. From there, it'll bring up the results and even give you the address, rating, phone number of the place, opening hours, and more. Trust me, this will save you plenty of headaches when planning things out with a large group of friends who live all over the map. You can even access it on iOS and even through the web for free. Another excellent free app is Free TV. It lets you quickly watch any TV channel worldwide without needing to sign up for anything or needing to pay for anything. You just choose the content you want to watch, like the news, movies, etc. And whatever channel you select will instantly start to play without a problem. And they don't have any ordinary cheesy channels. They have popular ones like CNN, ABC News, BBC, Paramount Movie Channel, and more. Plus the fact that you can watch other channels from other countries for free without registering for anything is pretty awesome. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired of using file managers on Android because a lot of them are outdated, require subscriptions, or are just plain sketchy. Luckily, a new one just got released called Fossify File Manager and it makes file management a lot more seamless without any of that unnecessary BS. Plus, it's completely free with no ads and it's open source. It has all the basics like letting you delete, move, copy, rename, and more. Plus, there's a Recents tab to let you see all of your most recently downloaded files and a Storage tab to know how much storage you have left and what's taking up the most space. Tapping each section will even let you find the biggest files to delete quickly and free up some space. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it is kind of refreshing to see a modern file manager not have any of that extra BS. A fantastic alternative is Material Files, which I already reviewed last year in the Best Apps for June. Some phones have better photo editors than others, and if you're the unlucky few who have a crappy gallery app, then no problem. You can turn to Image Toolbox to get some powerful editing tools for free. It lets you easily remove the background from any image, although sometimes it doesn't work properly, decrease the quality to reduce the size, convert it to a different file, combine images together to create a mega one, pick the color from an image to copy the hex code, generate a color palette from a photo, delete the EXIF tags, or even edit them, and a lot more. Trust me, there are so many unique image editing tools found within this app, and what's even crazier is that it's entirely free to use and has no ads. 
Plus for that cherry on top, it's open source. Check this out. On my new Galaxy S24 Ultra, I compare Taurus's OSTAN case, the sponsor of this video, with their new 5000 mAh OSTAN power bank to start charging the phone wirelessly. Plus, the charger even comes with a 360 degree O-shaped stand to let me prop up the phone at any angle, making it the perfect option for watching content, joining a video call, or using the S Pen, all while being charged wirelessly at 7.5 watts. And if you want to charge a bit faster, it also comes with a Type-C connector that outputs 15 watts and inputs 18 watts of power. The best part is that you can even charge other devices wirelessly on it, like your headphones, while you also charge your phone through the wired connection. Two for the price of one. I also love that it's super slim and lightweight, making it really easy to travel with. For a bit of context, it's even 19 grams lighter than Apple's own MagSafe power bank. Plus, Taurus will release a 10,000 mAh OSTAN power bank on Valentine's Day, so make sure to keep an eye on their Amazon page because they'll even be doing a 50% discount when it releases. As for the OSTAN case itself, it's super slim, has a variety of colors and styles to choose from, and is super durable with 18 pieces of airbag modules for the ultimate protection. If you prefer an alternative, Taurus offers the P-Stand case featuring a rectangular pullout stick allowing you to stand the phone while also charging it with MagSafe. So if you want the ultimate wireless combo solution, check out Taurus's products through the top link in the description. Switching over to the games, Flying Tank is up first and it's an endless runner game that has a similar gameplay to the popular title Jetpack Joyride but with a lot more explosions and cooler graphics in my opinion. It's very straightforward to play, you just move the spaceship with your left thumb and then start swiping on the right side to shoot at any incoming enemies. What's even cooler is that the direction in which you swipe can also cause different types of attacks. Like tapping once or pressing down on the screen will auto-fire the regular bullets, swiping down will drop bombs, and swiping right will shoot special types of missiles that do more damage. You're using all these different shooting methods to take down the aliens attacking your spaceship. And trust me, there will be a lot. Even in the first few levels, I was constantly on the edge of my seat because of how many enemies they threw at me. The only thing is I can see it getting pretty repetitive, but at first, it's still really enjoyable. Definitely give it a try. Farm Race is a lot less chaotic, but it's still really easy to pick up and start playing with one-touch controls. You're essentially trying to get these farm animals to the end of the finish line, and throughout the road, you'll encounter various obstacles that can kill you. Luckily, you can time yourself just right to make it past each dangerous object by lifting your finger whenever you get close to one. Then, when you're ready to go, you can long press on the screen to run straight through it. There's no timer, so you can take your sweet time, and it's honestly a really relaxing game. It's also free to download, but I won't lie, there are a good amount of ads, which is the only downside about this game. Either way, it's still a good time killer. Pizza Hero brings it back to chaos with an endless amount of monsters that try to attack you, and the craziest part about all of it is that you play as a heroic slice of pizza. Yeah, it's pretty random, but I'm all for it. Luckily, the pizza can shoot at these monsters, and each time you eliminate an enemy, you'll pick up points to power up your firepower or get extra perks. You'll definitely need it too, because as time passes by, the hordes of monsters get larger, stronger, and have a lot more health. So always keep moving and try your best to shoot down as many enemies as possible. It is a fun game, but again, the controls aren't the best. Plus, even though I know the developers are trying to go for a retro style look, I think they could still work on the graphics to make everything feel a lot smoother. What has fantastic graphics and is super fun to play is this new game called Ugly. Yes, that's literally what it's called. And it's the only game on this list that you'll need to pay money for. Still, I think it's worth it because of how clever and unique the gameplay is. It's a platform puzzle game where you can mirror your character to step into unreachable places. It's super mind-bending and each time I play, it never fails to surprise me. Sometimes I even just sit there wondering what to do next, but luckily there's a question mark button to give me a hint at what to do. As I said, the graphics are phenomenal and the sound is also great, the only annoyance is that sometimes the stages can get a bit too wide where you can barely see your character. I literally need to squint my eyes sometimes to figure out what's going on. So I can definitely tell that this game was meant for a PC, but it's still more than enjoyable. Money well spent on mine. 
Anyways, tap this video right here to jump to the best apps playlist to view all of the previous episodes. Thumbs up if I helped you download at least one app as well. Thanks for sticking to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!